Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we learned how to maintain that data in that table using SC11, SC16 or SC16N. But in the projects or I'll say in the production system, which is a live system, end users never has the rights for SC11 or SC16 or SC16N. Now question comes, in that scenario, how they will maintain that data in that table? We will go for now one of the most important topic. So our next topic is table maintenance generator. It is also called as TMG. Sometimes people will always say TMG. And this is the best way to maintain that data in that table. We already learned SC11, SC16, SC16N, but that is not a preferable way because in the real time projects, end users do not have the rights for SC11, SC16 or SC16N. In that case, what we have to do, we have to generate a table maintenance generator of the table and end user will maintain that data with the help of SM30 transaction codes. End users will have the rights for SM30 transaction codes. Now, we will learn in this video how to maintain or how to generate a table maintenance generator. We will go to that table. I will go to SC11 transaction code. I will go to change mode of that table. One of the most important topic. Now, how to generate a table maintenance generator so that we can maintain that data in that table. So I'll go for utilities, table maintenance generator. Now, this is the screen whenever you are generating the table maintenance generator. Now I will come on to first part. What is authorization group? Term itself is suggesting. A group in which we have some people and that group is authorized to maintain the data. Suppose I'm saying 10 people have the rights to maintain the data in that table. So we will assign one group to them and those 10 have the rights to maintain the data in that table. Yes. Because data is a very critical thing. So everyone should not have the authorization to maintain that data. So I will go for F4 help. At this point of time, I will choose the authorization group M% NC M%. If you will see the description of this authorization group, it is without authorization group. Means if we will pass this authorization group, anyone can maintain the data in the table. It will not check for any authorization. So, but in the projects, they will I'll give you some authorization group which you have to choose so that only those people have the rights to maintain that data. But from this I'll say learning perspective, I will choose this authorization group. Any, any user can maintain the data. Now, I will pass the same table name in the function group. 
now what is function group in the future we have the topic function module we will go for the major as you will go for the explanation at that point of time just as of now pass the same table name in the function group now now we have two maintenance types in table maintenance generator we have two maintenance screens in table maintenance generator now what is this what is one step simple in case of one step in case of one step in case of one step only overview screen is applicable if i will go for one step only overview screen is applicable if i will go for two step both overview screen and single screen are applicable anyways we'll go into practical of this as of now in case of one step only overview screen is applicable in case of two step both overview screen and single screen are applicable suppose i will go for one step first i will click on find screen number i will go for okay and you can see screen number 1 automatically comes into overview screen because in case of one step overview screen is applicable now suppose i will go for two step i will click on find screen number if i am pressing enter you can see i am getting the screen number in both overview screen and single screen so this is the meaning of one step and two step whenever we will proceed you will get more clarity suppose i will go for one step first i will generate the table maintenance generator firstly by using one step then i will go for two step firstly i will go for one step only now people think they did up to this level it means their tmg has been generated no you have to click on to this create button save i'm saving it as a local object now whenever you will get a message request completed successfully it means your table maintenance generator has been generated so we generated the table maintenance generator by using one step now in the next video we will see how to maintain data in the table because we generated the table maintenance generator thank you